Starting Hearts is making a difference in our community. We have educated more than 15,000 people over the last eight years since the inception of the organization and we have increased the number of defibrillators to more than 400 which we believe is the highest per capita in the nation if not the world. Most often sudden cardiac arrest happens outside of the hospital to a neighbor, a family member, co-worker. We'll all be safer if people have those skills and know how to respond. I experienced a cardiac arrest on Valentine's Day of 2007. I had been married for 11 days. My husband and I had just returned from our honeymoon and I was reporting to work for the second day on a new job with the Vail Valley Partnership. I just fell over in my chair and the people watching really didn't know what to do, so they started yelling for help. Fortunately, a lady named Sue Freshly was there in the office and she stepped forward. I took one look at Lynn and I knew she needed CPR. 911 was called at the same time, and fortunately we were right across the street from the Vail Fire Department. So they ran across the street, they continued the quality CPR. Meanwhile, paramedics were en route, and they arrived a few minutes later. They administered a defibrillator, uh, delivered three shocks, and on the third shock, they restarted my heart. As we tell everybody we teach, it's not just what you do, it's how fast you do it. For instance, if all you do is call 911, fewer than 6% will survive. However, if you call 911, start CPR, and use that defib within four minutes, you can get that survival to 75%. I know that I am one of less than 10% of people who survive a cardiac arrest. When I turned 30, my heart had slowed down quite a bit. I was in the hospital that Christmas for about a week up here with Dr. Eck. Uh, taking charge and really getting me back on my feet. The first morning I went to cardiac rehab, I got off the bike and was walking around the room to cool down. And I was still on the heart monitor, luckily. But as I was walking around the room, I crashed. That was my cardiac arrest. I was driving to go out, take my girls out to dinner. And then I apparently had a cardiac arrest. I don't remember driving, I don't remember any of it. My daughter was in the front seat and she turned the wheel off the Eagle exit and we rolled the car and crashed. The paramedics showed up, they were in the roundabout and they shocked me once and then I came back. I was uh, in the kitchen and my roommate Tina came through the kitchen and I asked her if she'd like a cup of tea and she said, sure, I'll have a cup of tea, let me take the trash out. She came back and I was down on the floor and she got immediately one hand on me CPR and the other hand dial in 911. Citizen bystanders are the bridge between life and first responders, you know, the incident and first responders. Spiritually, my, my faith has grown immensely. Just to wake up every day and to really think, I'm here, I'm here. And you know, I can't say that I did that before. Everyone talks about cancer, but sudden cardiac arrest is overwhelmingly more people die from that. I think the general population just doesn't realize how important knowing how to do CPR and knowing how to use a defibrillator is in saving a life. The impact that Starting Hearts and Lynn Blake have made is unbelievable. She saves lives and she's my hero because she had this terrible experience. She survived it, which is huge. And then she took the ball and ran with it. And I have goosebumps because I know how these defibrillators in Eagle County have been used. The other thing that's kind of impressed me is the fact that we're now getting phone calls asking to extend those services to other communities. I think it's making our community a safer place to be and we live in one of the most beautiful places on earth and now it's becoming or is one of the safest places on earth. On Saturday, January 19, 2019, while skiing at Vail, Colorado, I somehow fell into a snowbank headfirst and was buried up to my boots. My heart stopped beating for what we think was around 8 to 10 minutes. Thanks to a group of amazing people, I am alive to tell my story. Tom and Karen Nern, Beth McCran, and all others that saved my life are the ones that deserve praise. For random people to help a stranger in need is amazing. 
The will to not give up in trying CPR when it looked like a lost cause shows extreme bravery and a never-give attitude from these wonderful people. They truly are my angels on the mountain. We are very proud of all of the work that Starting Hearts has been doing here in Eagle County in the Vail Valley. I just really felt like God saved my life for a reason and that that reason was to help educate people and save lives.